Why, you stuck-up, half-witted, Wait, what? scruffy-looking hey. nerve herder. You can't call us a nerve herder. Only we no. can call us nerve herders. Who are you calling scruffy? <laughs> Who are you um, calling scruffy looking? Have you got any pick sakes? Because I've I got do, two. I do not. Tell me. Tell me all about those for pick sakes. Okay. So my first pick sake is the link, which I put in there to that. Watch the YouTuber put in a Mac mini guts inside a Nintendo video. But also we are loving bad sisters on Apple TV plus guy. Oh, you really? got to watch bad sisters. It's really good. It's a bit weird. But it is really good. It's funny. Got a bit of black humor in there. Love it. Absolutely love it. So Bad Sisters on Apple TV Plus. Go for it, folks. Watch it. Loving it. Something I have rediscovered. I started to watch it and then got caught up in a bunch of other stuff. And I just oh, put did this you not here. Finish, did you not finish watching that? No, no. I just ah. saw the, the fourth episode yesterday. Okay. I watched the first two. Out. And then <laughs> forgot about it yeah. and then started rewatching it again. And like so many other shows that are part of these streaming services, it starts off slow, sort of. And then it gets really super intense. But in the case of this particular program, Slow Horses, it actually starts out fast, gets slow, and then goes fast again. Like this quick show stuff. is basically about Gary Oldman is in charge of all of these techs and spies that have screwed up and they're just kind of, they don't want to fire them, but they're just kind of dumped into oh, this one organization and little by little, they start getting reinvolved with Spycraft over in the UK and it's just so Good. And for all of the people who were so used to seeing Gary Oldman as Commissioner Gordon, because he's got that kind of look to him in this show, because he's got the glasses and the, and the whole thing. He's a bit of a scruff bag. He's a, he's a little scruffy. He's a little scruffy. But the who are you calling scruffy? In, who are you calling? You nerve herder. <laughs> the action, and and the weird thing about it is... Like if you watch, and I know I'm going long in this, and, I, and I'm sorry. You are. I you am are I going am. long. When you watch something like a James Bond flick, and they have an action sequence that starts up, it's like it's like, bam, and it's like this long, intense, like the car chases and, and all the rest of that. With slow horses, it's just as intense, but it's a slow build. <laughs> Like when okay. he goes, I, I don't want, I'm not going to say what God, it is, but God, when he goes through I, the house to I help say, with the kidnapper. Can I, can I say, first yeah. of all, we have spoken about slow horses in the past yeah. because I've said about it in the past. And you'd also waxed lyrical on the first two episodes when you watch them as well. Yes. Um, and now this is a typical guy. So if anybody was watching the video and seeing me ducking out and laughing, I, it, it made me laugh that Guy not only has to tell you about slow horses, but he's got to go so in-depth. Yeah. I told you to watch Bad Sisters. It's great. Just go and watch it. Really funny. No, Guy's got to give you the whole pricey. Slow and horses I love is good. Go it. watch it. I love him for it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great show. Uh, compared to a lot of the other stuff on Apple TV, this is really, really good. Well, actually, I've not watched I have seen a couple, but actually proportionally, their stuff proportionally is much better than some of the yeah. other. Yeah. I'm still and, stuck. Uh, I still haven't up. finished uh, For All Mankind. And I never got past season one of uh, the the TV interview show, whatever the hell that was. Oh, yeah, called. yeah. Morning. Good morning. Good morning. Morning, whatever. Something. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Never cared for it. I, I just could not. Could not finish it. Didn't think yeah, it was I kind of got into that. I kind of got into that. Uh, but a lot anyway. of the stuff on Apple TV is really good. And I think we've Moving just told on. you two two great Moving. shows on Apple TV, though yes, I haven't watched have. Bad Sisters yet. Yeah. Oh, oh, however. Oh, oh. Something I'm kind of looking forward to, and I don't usually say this, it's on Netflix. It's a show involving Wednesday Adams from the Adams family. 
her right. going to this really bizarre boarding school. And it's done by Tim Burton. And from the trailer, it looks fantastic. <laughs> go on YouTube, go find the trailer for whatever they're calling the 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 Wednesday Adams uh series that's coming up. There's some very, very funny, very uh, what's a good word when you're talking about the Adams family? Uh, not grotesque, creepy, uh, creepy, bizarre. It, bizarre, it, it, bizarre yeah, is a better word. It looks really, really good. All right. Um, if you can, please go to timeout.com, check out Ukrainian donation sites, or just go right to the Ukrainian Red Cross or Doctors Without Borders, make a donation. They really, really need your help, and we wish them all the best of luck. Now, If you've done an iTunes review, we don't normally talk about this. We, it's not every week we talk about this. If you've done an iTunes review and we speak about it on the show, and you'll have to tell us because we're not informed when these reviews come in, send yeah, me no. your email along with who, you know, your name and, and who did the review or what, whatever name it was you used for the review. And I will send you a Woody, which is a big W, big O, big O, big T, little I, little E. That is a Woody. And speaking of feedback, we have yes. a lot of audio feedback. First of, this first week. of all, I'm going to just say this uh, yeah. 10x on Twitter. It seemingly. My, oh, you're still on Twitter? Well, you know. <laughs> it's of. such a dumpster fire. It was a dumpster fire before. <laughs> now it's like a nuclear dumpster fire. Yeah. Anyway. That aside, Guy, can I just yeah. talk about, you know, of course, the, the feedback that we're getting 10x on Twitter, who might be moving from Twitter. My watch act activation of opening up my iMac, my iMac, my Mac, my Mac mini um, seems to be working now without me having to wave my watch around. It nice. seems to have now locked in and actually it's opening it whenever, not when I first sign in. But when I've signed in and it closes down, it's reactivating. So that seems to be working. I hope yours is too. Now, on to the other feedback that we Yeah, got. and I mm. think, isn't his the first one? Who? Mac Jim? Mac Jim? Meow. Okay, and here it is. <laughs> I tried to consume the Mac Mac podcast show big guy and guys it's a bit tough going <laughs> it would be it really would be i like the way did you hear him actually spit some of that out yeah well yeah. we are an acquired taste there is no doubt about we that. are that's true that's yeah true. we could use a little season seasoning <laughs> yeah well you got the ginger this side but you know you're yeah, a bit pale a little bit yeah <laughs> <laughs> and we have we have uh the return of marcus Mm. huge huge return of marcus this week yes yes so we're gonna sit back and listen yeah. so it, you know it gas if you need to take a bathroom break or something you know go right ahead here it is well i was gonna watch the car hey this is marcus in minnesota again watch the recording car. from my Hi, ultra mega watch and Sounds good, uh, i just wanted to send a quick blurb you're talking about the ipad uh, weather app I think that's something they should have had on the original version or like a iOS update later because why not? I agree. Not all people were in the Apple ecosystem when they got their first iPad and would also like to know the weather. But I think that's a gimmick that lots of companies use to keep their company's products viable and to get people buying a newer product is they limit what they can do. And we saw that with jailbreaking. And just simple copy and paste and the scrolling that all came from the jailbreak community. And Apple was just it, uh, just all jitty about to say, hey, here's our next feature. And jitty. Everybody that jailbroke was like, yay, about time. And that kind of was the point of it. But, yeah, the iPad weather app is very lovely. I love using it. It does have all the information you need. And uh, I'm out because I'm on my way to work. Goodbye. Well, not quite goodbye yet. Not, not quite. quite goodbye yet. Hey, this is Marcus in Minnesota. Well, no, don't start again. Um, yeah, I, I, I think that the weather app on the iPad uh, should have been there practically from the beginning. All right. Yes. So here's another one from 
Marcus. Marcus. Very quick follow-up. My last message uh, said uh, that scrolling came from jailbreaking. Uh, I'm not sure about that, but the pull to refresh from the top was definitely in the jailbreak community first, and then Apple stole it. What? Apple steal tech? No. No way. No, no, no. So I failed to send the two messages I recorded for last week for <laughs> the podcast you did uh, last couple days ago, whenever the hell it was. And I'm listening to the Butt Pod, which is a podcast by Brent Butt, the brilliant nice. comedian and creator of um, Corner Gas, cartoon, movie, uh, TV show, all that. He, he's great. And there's a segment he has called More Smarter. And he does the, uh, with that echoing uh, effect, uh, I don't know what you for call us it. For would but be a defect. That would be a great Reva. segment for Reva. the MyMac.com podcast. Right? More smarter. Yeah. We can't yeah, use can that. I... Somebody else has that. Yeah, but the thing is, the thing is, we can't do that full stop. Never mind pinching it from someone else. And equally, I'd like to know the radio inter interference that seemingly was coming over that recording, Marcus, or were you in a really heavy rainstorm? That's that's just a question. Just a question. And and honestly, I you know he re he says he he recorded that with his watch. That sounded really oh, good. Yeah, well, we said that before because he'd sent one in on the watch on his okay. ultra, and it was brilliant. I didn't so, remember yeah. that shocker. Yeah, well, that doesn't surprise me. Yeah, but it sounded really good, Marcus, and. Um, <laughs> I'm I'm stunned. Uh, if you like Marcus, actually, he doesn't contribute other than feedback. But if you would like to contribute monetarily to the MyMac.com podcast, you can do so by going. Boy, that that was a, just the crappiest <laughs> segue ever. <laughs> Patreon.com. Marcus, Marcus, we love you. Just carry on, all right? Carry on. You do you, do you Marcus. <laughs> you just do you. Just do carry on, Marcus. Carry it's on. Patreon.com forward slash Matt Perry. You can buy me coffee. You wait till you listen back to that guy. You wait till you listen back to that. Yeah, I think I'm in for it. I'm probably in for it. You can also buy me a coffee. KO-FI.com forward slash Mac Parrot or pay a pal. Pay a pal at PayPal. Dot M E forward slash Mac Parrot. Now, guess <laughs> if people wanted to get a hold of you, how would they do so? Ever so easy, guy. Ever so easy. They'd send an email to gazjz at mymac.com or on the Twitters if you want to use Twitter, twitter.com forward slash gazmastodon. <laughs> Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Hang okay. on a cotton dong minute. Or on the Twitter. Wait, hold on. Did you just say cotton cousins. dong? Cotton dingy ding ding ding. Okay. Just, anyway, whatever. Yeah. Look, just let me finish. Go Will ahead. You let me finish. I will. Gazmaz, G A Z M A Z. I am also on Mastodon as Gazmaz, G A Z M A Z. Cars, cars. But you can also get us if you still use us, use Twitters. <laughs> On Guy and Gaz, G U Y A N D G A Z. Cars. Are you on Mastodon as well? we'll I am, as Mac there. Parrot, oddly enough. Yes. How well, weird you're is not that? following me, are you? I'll have to follow you. I'll have to I didn't find you. Anyway, even know you were on Mastodon. That's, well, I am on Mastodon. Well, real quick, so before, before we move on, a yes. lot of people that are upset or whatever about Elon Musk and Twitter are talking about they're going to move everything over to Mastodon. The only problem with that is Mastodon is not Twitter. No, it's not. You are not going to, and it's part of the reason why I think a lot of the people saying that they're going to go to Mastodon and, and leave Twitter will be coming back to Twitter because you're not going to get the same level of engagement on Mastodon that you currently will on Twitter. And we'll see what happens in the future. There's it's a, and there's it's a few, just not there's, set up the same way. No, and there's a few other differences as well. But anyway, yeah. you can also send the email into feedback, F W D B A C K at mymac.com. Now, now, all I'm going to do is, is I'm going to go. His name was Guy. Uh. Guy. 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 Yeah. Guy. My guy. So, Guy. Who the hell?
barely even knows who this guy is. Who are you, really? Guy. <laughs> Have a good one, guy. I don't know who this guy is. Any guy. You can do so much better than that guy. Guy, we need to talk. This is such a classic guy line. Who the hell even knows who this guy is? Oh, I've done that. I've done that one. Anyway, anyway. Guy. Guy. If you want. An email from Guy. No fool, and how <laughs> would they do it? <laughs> Every week, every week. I don't know if this will be the week that I completely lose my stuff. You can send me an email to guy at mymac.com or at podcast at vertshark.com. You can go to vertshark.com where you'll see a lot of old content because it hasn't been updated in a very long time, but one day. One day. Uh, you can also go on over to the tubes of you and like, share, subscribe. Did you see it the first time? Like, share, subscribe to the Vert Shark channel. Well, you you will get not only the video version of the My Mac podcast, you will also get Guy's Daily Drive, which is the other completely insane podcast that I do where I talk and live cast in my car while I go to work. <laughs> Easy. It's, it's so, uh, why I do that and how that even became a thing in my head, I could not even tell you. Yes. Uh, what else? What else? Like, There's, um, <clears throat> Mike Parrot and <laughs> Vert Shark. There you go. Over on the Twitters. And you can, yes, you can go on over to Mastodon. If, if you were managed to get through all of the levels to get an account on Mastodon and they have not made it easy. You can find me over there uh, under the name Mac Parrot. It's right there. <laughs> and uh, we'll have to put that in the in the show notes as another we will. contact point. Yeah, we will. Yeah. Uh, you can also contact us through a, telef- a telephone-like device or your smartphone <laughs> by dialing one or plus one outside of the United States. 703436. I'm losing my voice. <clears throat> 9501. That number again is one or plus one. Assigned United States 703-436-9501. Or take that one and plus one into the backyard and then lock the door behind it and just go right to the Skype application and dial 703-436-9501. Now, this, this is the part of the show where I very sincerely uh, number one, apologize for the last 45 to 50 minutes of your life that we have taken from you. Uh, but it's all been in, in the spirit of good fun. <laughs> yeah. So thank you. Thank you for joining us here on the MyMac.com podcast. We really, really do appreciate the fact, and this is with all sincerity, that you take the time to download and listen. I don't know why I have to tell you, say that, but I do. And listen to the MyMac.com podcast. We really do appreciate it. And Gaz, I think we're good enough this week. This week. Better than last week. This week, we were good enough. And this week, we were damn sure smart enough. And that Wolf Garnet, Wolf, Wolf, I mix up my W's, Wolf, 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 Dong it. Dong it. God, dog got it. <laughs> People, woof, woof, like us. Guy. Yes. Um, how can you tell if a tree is a dogwood variant? By its bark. <laughs> I'm thinking all different kinds of things, but I don't know why I didn't think of bark. End.